Welcome to the lecture series on real analysis. In one of the previous lectures, we have defined closure of a set. In this lecture, we are going to see few results on the closure of a set and results based on the closure of a set. Let us get into this lecture. Here, in this lecture, it is given that in a metric space, we have taken a set E and with the help of this E, we are going to prove these things. That is, closure of this E is always a closed set. What do we mean by a closed set? All the limit points of the set has to be a member of the set. Here, for this closure of E, we are going to prove all the limit points of this E bar is also a member of this E bar. That is what we are going to prove. And a set is closed if and only if a set is same as that of with the closure of a set. If these, these two are equal, this is what we are going to prove in the second thing. Okay, first let us prove those two things. Okay, uh, what do we mean by E closure? E closure is nothing but E union E prime. Where this E prime denotes the set of limit points of E. Okay, this is what we have. Now we need to prove this is closed right that is we have to prove e bar is closed in order to prove e bar is closed we can take an arbitrary point uh, we can take any limit point of the set and we prove that is a member of it or we may also prove e bar complement is open okay so this is what we are going to say okay for that, let me pick a point in the metric space, but this is not a member of E bar. If this is not a member of E bar, which means what? We are taking a point in E bar complement. Okay. So as of now, if we are taking a point in E bar complement, that means it is a point in E closure. That is E bar. Okay. What is E bar? It is E union E prime. This is not a member in this union, which means it is neither a member of E as well as a member of E bar. That is P does not belong to E as well as P does not belong to E prime. If these two things are there, then what do we get? This means P is not a member of P is not a member in E as well as P is not a limit point of E. Okay, since P is not a limit point of E, any neighborhood of P does not intersect with E. Right? Because if this is a limit point, if this is a limit point of E, then in any neighborhood of P we will have at least one point of E. Since it is given that it is not a limit point of E, the na any neighborhood of this P will have common point with E. That is what we are saying. So this does not intersect with E, which means N of P intersection E is always empty. Therefore, this N of P must be completely contained in what? E complement. This uh, since it is also given that P is not a member of E, therefore it does not intersect with E bar as well because it is neither in this nor in this. So this is what we are going to have. We have taken an arbitrary point in E bar complement and finally we prove the neighborhood is, any neighborhood is complete contained in this thing. Therefore, P is an interior point of E if sorry E bar complement okay it is an interior point of E bar complement this proves your E bar complement is open and hence your E bar is closed okay now next we are going to prove the second thing in order to prove the second thing we will make use of this as well okay Initially, let us take E and E bar as same. That is, we are assuming this part and we are trying to prove E is closed. Okay. In this, that is in the first part, what we have proved 
e bar is always closed for whatever the set e is in while proving the first part we have not imposed any condition that e is open or e is closed we don't know what kind of set e is but e bar is always closed when you take e and e bar are same so this is your this is what you are taking okay then if you know that e bar is closed e is closed so this proves the one way of the second part conversely let us take uh, e is closed now we need to prove e and e bar are same okay we know what e bar is e union e prime which means your e is contained in e bar so this already you have right okay since e is closed all the limit points of this e is a member of e okay the limit points of e are going to be denoted as e prime so e prime is contained in e okay now let us see few uh, a basic concept in uh, what to say set a okay this is my set a this is my set b as of now okay i am going to uh, make a union of union c with these sets okay what is going to happen this is my c union a okay this part is my c union a okay what is going to be my c union b this is going to be my uh, c union b if you see whenever you have b is a member b is contained in a your c union b is contained in c union a so this is a result in set theory we are going to apply it uh, what i am going to do is that i am just making union of e with it it can be any set right the same set can also one among the same set can be put for union so this is going to be e bar is contained in e we have this thing e is contained in e bar and we proved e bar is contained in e this proves e and e bar are same when is it, when are these same this is same only if uh, e is closed okay assuming e is closed we prove these things next what okay uh, in the third part of this theorem what is given e bar is contained in f okay what is this f this for every closed set f which means in a matrix space x okay we have some set e okay and we are going to collect some open sets this open set has to be like what this e is contained in f which means this is your f this is your e you have something of this sort now what you have to prove is that you have to prove e bar is contained in f okay how are we going to do it as of now we don't know whether this e is closed or open it can be any set okay suppose if i take a, a point on it or a, a limit point of the set e what is it going to be on any neighborhood of this point will have few points of this e right okay here this is the idea that is what that is we are going to use we are given that e is contained in f okay if i have to say something is a limit point of e this has to satisfy this condition that is in any neighborhood of that point i must have some point of e so I am collecting all such points, which means I am collecting the limit points of it. In any na this neighborhood, any neighborhood is has some intersection with E. If it has some intersection with E, it has intersection with F as well, right? Because E is contained in F, so all the limit points of E will also be limit points of F. Okay, this we have. Okay, 
we also know that that is it is given that f is closed when your f is closed all the limit points of f is contained in f itself so combining these two things what you have is e prime is contained in f prime which is contained in f so among this you just have this part okay as we have seen in the previous part that is by proving this we made the uh, set theoretical concept union concept right just apply it so e union e prime e union f okay what is it going to be since e is contained in f this is going to be simply f so what is it it is e bar e bar is contained in f this is what we needed to prove right so by proving this uh, one thing we can register here one thing we can remark here what is it just closely look at the third part of this theorem this is going to give you that remark here it can be uh, any closed set right this f can be any closed set i have chosen this to be my f i may also choose this f as well okay this may be my f i can choose any kind of closed sets here okay and we know that if e is close uh, e e can be any set but e closed is always closed so when your e itself is closed you will have e and e bar are same so among these closed set what is the smallest closed set that can be only what e bar okay so the remark that we can note here is e bar is the smallest closed set which contains e there can be any number of closed sets uh, for which e is a subset but e bar is the smallest closed set for which e is a subset okay this can be the case when your e itself is closed your e and e bar will be same so this is what we have uh, planned for this lecture if you have any queries you can post it in the comment section that will be clarified within 24 hours of time thank you for watching